welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a full face first impressions using new at the drugstore products. I went to both Shoppers and Walmart the past few days to see what is new and I found a bunch of new goodies to test and try out and let you guys know what I think of them. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on some new drugstore stuff and seeing the look that I'm going to come up with, then just keep on watching. The first new product that we have to test out is from Hard Candy. I picked up two products that are new from the brand. This is the Glosstopia Ultimate Lip Shine with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is just a tinted lip oil. I have tried their regular Glosstopia formula before and it's a really nice gloss. So they had, I believe, four shades of these. There was like a cherry, a darker pink, this shade, and then a green peppermint. So I decided to go for this one. This is called 1950 Cocoa Rush and all of the different lip oils are coconut scented has a really nice scent to it. I guess it is coconut, kind of like vanilla, sugary coconut. Um, I just love a lip oil with a tint. I get super dry lips and I love wearing stuff like this under my mask. I have so many lip oils and I like trying new ones. So I'm shook at how good that feels. It feels a little bit of a thicker hydrating consistency than your typical lip oil. My lips were so, so dry before I put that on. It feels really, really nice and smooth. I might have to go and get like the cherry one. Next up, we have a product that I didn't even see on trend mode or anything. I just saw a display for it in shoppers and I was very shook because usually I'm very much on top of the new drugstore releases. I like to pick stuff up and review them for you guys. And I didn't know this one was coming. So this is the Revlon Rose Glow Face Gloss. Um, it is said to luminize and hydrate and it is made with 80% water. Multi-use face gloss instantly illuminates and hydrates. Refreshing feel. Wear alone or under for smooth luminous skin or layer for an extra luminous glow. Universal iridescent shade complements all skin tones. So I thought that a drugstore doing a face gloss was super cool. You can use this on its own without makeup, under makeup, up as a type of primer or on top of makeup to give like a really nice pretty glossy finish on the cheekbones or wherever you want to look hydrated glossy shiny so I was very intrigued by this so this is a continuation of their rose glow line I do already own the rose glow hydrating and illuminating primer so I figured we would use these together today but this is obviously one that I've had in my collection I don't love it. I'm not crazy about it. I never really reach for it, to be honest. I feel like the Glow Bomb is more like in my wheelhouse, something that I would enjoy and reach for more. And they do have a setting spray in the same line as well, but the products were very expensive for what they were. I believe this was like $18 or $19 at Shoppers in Canada, which is pretty crazy. Um, and the setting spray was around $20. I have so many setting sprays, both drugstore and high-end. And I feel like they all generally do the same thing. I have some that I love, but generally they all do the same thing. So I didn't pick up the spray, but in case you're curious and you like a good hydrating spray, you can pick that up. So I'm going to go ahead and first go in with the Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer because this technically isn't a primer. I feel like a lot of people won't really know what to use this for unless you're like really into makeup. You'd be like, face gloss, what's that? So we'll see how it works, but I'm going to go in with the Rose Glow Primer first. You got to shake this one up a little bit because I find that it separates a little in the bottle and it does have little beads in it, which I really don't like. I just don't like the feeling on my skin. The beads just burst and add like extra hydration and glow, I think, but I rather just not have the beads. I just think it's like a weird sensation on the skin and it is a dropper bottle, but for being more sanitary. I'm just going to apply it on my fingers directly and work it into the skin and I have already gone ahead and cleansed and moisturized with my Honey Pharmacy Ceramide Moisturizer that I've been loving and I'm using a decent amount of this because you guys know me. I have very dry skin and I like a really glossy, healthy glow. So this is how the skin looks just with the rose glow. It's definitely not the most like crazy illuminating primer from the drugstore. I have ones that I definitely prefer. I would say it gives more hydration than it gives illumination. So that is good to use in combination with the face gloss. So I haven't even opened this yet. I was really excited to see this, as I said, especially because the products at the drugstore rarely shock me. I usually am waiting months and months after I see a product on trend mood for it to actually show up in my 
local Canadian drug stores. Like I know Physicians Formula is coming out with a lot of new stuff and e.l.f. We won't get those in Canada for like months and months and months. So I was very excited to see this in stores. Um, so let's try it out. It's very interesting. It looks like a kind of light pink holographic shift type product. So I'm going to first just apply it on the very high points of my face. I might end up taking it everywhere to be honest because we love a glow. That actually looks really, really nice. I'm going to apply it a little bit more because I want you guys to really see what it does to the skin. But looking in my mirror really close up here, it looks really, really pretty. And it says that it works for all skin tones um but I'd be curious just because it does have more of like a pink duochrome cool tone to it I'd be curious how it looks on deeper skin feels really really nice all right I applied a ton to the nose so I'm gonna do a little bit on the high points of my forehead slash my whole forehead really just avoiding the cheeks where I have more acne so we don't need those areas to be super highlighted wow little of this goes a really long way I've definitely applied too much so I'm really having to blend it in just patting it under the eyes a little bit as well because I like that area to be super glowy and super hydrated also here's how the skin is looking with the primer and the face gloss I really really like this it's very cooling on the face like I can feel almost like a tingling sensation I think just because it's really cold in my room perhaps but it feels really nice and refreshing on the skin it gives such a gorgeous glow and I think that a face gloss is a cool product to bring to the drugstore especially the fact that we're seeing it from Revlon first I feel like NYX or Maybelline would have been the first brand to do that, but I think this snapped. I really, really like it so far. Definitely liking it more than the primer that they came out with earlier. Then for foundation, there wasn't one that was really like super new to the drugstore that I haven't yet tried, but I did pick this up because Pacifica... Uh, the brand Pacifica is relatively new to Shoppers Drug Mart. Pacifica, a light, clean foundation, oil-free and anti-shine. Um, I've heard incredible things about this foundation, especially from the Tayla. Really always raves about it. They had a pretty good shade range as well. I got mine in Neutral Fair NF. The brand is totally vegan, cruelty-free, really good stuff. Higher price point, especially from the drugstore. I would say it's similar in price point to pixie and like physicians formula it's a little bit higher end gorgeous packaging as well glass packaging i really like the aesthetic of the bottle and you get a nice pump as well you get 0.90 fluid ounces so it is a little bit under that standard one fluid ounce oh so it is a little bit of a thicker consistency not super runny but not super thick either it's like kind of holding its spot, dripping a tiny bit on the sponge, but it's not super runny. That's usually the consistency that I like. So let's go in with this. Skin's feeling super tacky and perfectly prepped. I really like that. We know, I like the face gloss. Okay, let's put this on the skin. Ooh, that looks light. This is their lightest shade, but usually I am the lightest neutral or the lightest warm, but we can definitely bronze up. That's really light. Should have really checked what shade Taylor Wynn uses, the Tayla, because she's usually the same shade as me in most foundations. Definitely used a lot of product, but we'll blend it all out. It's gonna be okay. Me telling myself. <laughs> Uh, very shook at how light that is. It doesn't look that light. Can you see? It looks much darker in here. It looks much darker, more yellow, at least by like two shades. Really, really light on the face. So definitely uh, not size up, but definitely go darker in this foundation. If you're interested in it, I'd say at least a shade darker. Um, so that's real light for me. In terms of the coverage, definitely gave good coverage, not as good coverage as like my Charlotte Airbrush Flawless or my Maybelline Superstay, but really nice coverage. I am a little surprised at how dry my skin looks with this on, especially because I did go in with moisturizer before filming and then I did go in with like two hydrating glowy primers. So I am looking drier than I would hope with doing all that prepping. My skin's been really irritated, I think, from wearing the mask and spraying so much alcohol around myself at work. My skin's been especially dry and irritated and red and itchy. Um, so could just be that, but I'm getting a lot of dryness, especially around my eyes here, which is where I've been having most of my skin irritation. So 
maybe it is just that but I just wanted to say skin's looking a little drier than I would have hoped especially because this foundation is supposed to be a little bit like more glowy but whatever actually I just realized that the next three steps in a row I don't have new products for everything else I have new um so I'm gonna go in with these two concealers for powder I'm going to go in with my one size ultimate setting powder I know this is high end forgive me I'm not even gonna film it but I've been really liking it and then for bronzer I'm gonna go in with my Milani silky matte bronzing powder in sunlight so I'm just gonna go ahead do these three steps which we don't have new stuff for and then I will be back to continue trying out the new stuff um update on my skin and the foundation it's looking incredibly dry I don't know if you guys can tell so I will continue to try out the foundation I'm just gonna chalk it up to like my skin being super dry and sensitive in general right now and I'll keep using it and let you guys know what I think of that but now we are ready to go in with blush and highlight and liven up this base a little bit so I picked up another new product from Hard Candy. I've heard about this um, on Makeup by Jazz's channel and then I believe one other. This is the Just Glow Highlighting Duo from Hard Candy. This one is in 1935 blushing on you so technically they're both highlighters I figured I could use this as a highlight and maybe this as a blush depending how pigmented they are I'm going in with the champagne one first with my morphe r36 you guys know this is my favorite highlight brush ever and it is slightly powdery but not as powdery as I thought that it was going to be not as much kickback as I was expecting it's a little bit more on the subtle side but you can see it a little bit there I'm really having to dig in there and I'm not getting a ton of payoff I'm gonna try using this as a blush now and see if it works at all it might be too pale might be too sheer as well I'm getting a little bit of pinky pigment for sure I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my all May healthy hue blush you guys know I love this one so much one of my favorite blushes in general drugstore and high-end a little bit of this on the cheeks and then we'll use the hard candy more as a blush top Topper. All right, that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna go back into the pinky highlighter. This is how I like to use more pinky toned highlighters anyway, more as a blush topper. I just don't like a super pink highlight on me on my cheekbones, but as a blush topper, this one's actually really pretty. All right, so I like the blush topper as a blush topper, not as a highlight. And I'm not a fan of the highlight, to be honest. I just, it's just more of like a glitter than it is a subtle highlight and it's just not I'm not obsessed with it I can't describe what I do and don't like about it uh but I'm just not loving it but I do like the blush very pretty nice flush I always go hard with the blush so that is personal preference as well all right now we're ready to go in with the eyes and I'm going to keep it pretty simple I picked up the new Maybelline color strike cream to powder eyeshadow pens I've seen these and like wasn't super excited about them at first but especially the pink color I was kind of curious about so I decided to go ahead and finally pick them up I haven't even watched anyone's review on these they might be awful but I figured we could try them out we have 20 charm which is the matte finish pink and the number 50 hustle which is like a gold metallic these are super pretty my hopes like weren't high and I kind of passed over them a few times and then decided it was worth a go so I'm gonna try out the hustle shade all over my lid I don't even think you really need a brush to do this you can probably just use your finger to pat out the edges it's actually a really pretty color it's more of like a gold taupe khaki than a true gold which I really like super easy you could probably use a brush to apply this if you wanted to but it's so easy just to use this applicator I think that's a super easy cool product for someone who doesn't want to spend too much time on eyeshadow and just wants like a super easy product to use you don't even need a brush you don't even use, need to messy up your fingers if you don't want to and they come in some really fun shades and mattes and shimmers metallics I think it's a really cool launch now that the eyeshadow is all done we're going to go in and really build up the lashes hopefully get them very thick and long and voluminous this is says it's an amazing smudge proof formulation it gives volume and it's a clean and vegan lash loving formula formulated without parabens sulfates talc and mineral oil 
and it is clump proof and wear proof. And it is infused with argan and marula oil to leave lashes fully conditioned. Super cool. Let's go in and try this out, see if we can build it up, get some really nice volume and definition. So far, so good. I'm not getting a ton of volume, but I'm definitely getting really nice lengthening and a lot of separation, which is good. Then we'll see if we can build it up more to get that volume. Here's how my top and bottom lashes look with the mascara. I think it's very pretty, but definitely more lengthening and separating than it is volumizing. And I did use it on my bottom lashes as well, as you can see, but since it is brand new, it is a pretty wet formulation, which I don't love for my bottom lashes. And I think the brush is a little too big for my bottom lashes. So I wouldn't recommend this for the bottom lashes, but for the top lashes, I do think it's really pretty holds a nice curl, lengthening, separating, and as the formulation begins to dry out a little bit, I think it will be a little more volumizing. So really like that. And then the last product that we have is a new lip product from Rimmel. This is their Oh My Gloss Plumping Gloss Volume and High Shine. I believe that this formulation isn't super new, but this shade and a few other shades are new. They just came out with a bunch of new shades. This is the shade 758 Rosy Posy. I just thought it was a super pretty rosy color. And yeah, I've never tried out the Oh My Gloss formulation. I've always wanted to, so I figured I would include it in this with trying out new shades and tried out interesting applicator. Very, very long and pointed. It's not your typical peppermint menthol plumping smell. I wonder what that ingredient is. Super super weird smell. It's a very opaque gloss though, which I enjoy. I can feel it tingling right away. I don't like a super tingling gloss, like the Too Faced Lip Injection, I can't do. It's too much for me. Um, I like something a little more subtle. There's how the gloss looks. I really like that. I think it's the perfect amount of plumping, really nice color selection in the range with their previous shades and then what i believe to be the new shades really weird smell though that's like the only negative i have for me i kind of like the smell but it's very herbally it smells like some type of essential oil but not peppermint it's different i'm gonna look in the ingredients on shoppers when i'm editing and try and see if i can put what ingredient specifically that is because it is quite powerful if you are sensitive to certain sense. Usually when I do these first impression drugstore videos, I love everything that I try. That's what happens most often. But today I have two that I wasn't a big fan of and wouldn't really recommend purchasing at this time based on this first experience. The first of which is the Pacifica A Light Foundation. I'm very surprised by that. My skin just feels very dry. Again, could just be the way my skin is reacting to the weather and the environment right now and this is definitely too light for me so i'm not a big fan of this and i wouldn't recommend at this point but i will keep playing around with it and then the other product that i was disappointed by is the hard candy just glow highlighting duo don't think this is anything special at all probably go ahead and declutter this just right away just because i know that i won't be reaching for it and i wouldn't really recommend purchasing even for the lower price tag i do really enjoy both of the lip products that i tried out the hard candy lip oil is absolutely lovely i would highly recommend and will probably pick up another shade for myself just because i'm so obsessed with lip oils and having my lips feel extra hydrated the plumping gloss i really like i would definitely pick up more shades highly recommend unless you are sensitive to the one ingredient that i will link down below i really enjoy both of the eye products that i tried out today i think these maybelline sticks are a super 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 cool concept especially for someone who's not as into makeup and just wants an easy eyeshadow product integrated into their everyday I think these are really cool and I really like the different shades and finishes that they came out with I really like this shade in particular highly recommend these and then I also really do like the covergirl mascara as I said I think it gives good length nice separation and holds a nice curl so those are both pluses for me recommend both of those and then lastly I really really like this Revlon face gloss even though my skin does look kind of dry and icky I think it's just the foundation to be honest at this point even for the price I would recommend just because it's different for the drugstore still cheaper than most face glosses and I think it's effective at what it does that is all that I have for you guys today if you did enjoy this video please do be sure to give it a thumbs up a like and subscribe slash comment down below if you haven't already I love chatting with you guys about new products have you tried any of these do you have opinions that differ from mine is there anything new that you've seen in your drugstore that you'd like for me to try out or have tips on any of the products I use that I didn't like let me know down below I would love to chat with you guys and as always 
guys. I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day, and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.